here's where your spiritual intelligence comes in. Because one of the things that your sixth sense does is it assists you with discernment. Right? Because I could look at that entire list of the traits of the great, and I could say, I need everything on that list. That doesn't mean I need to acquire or increase everything on that list now. So I need spiritual intelligence to help me discern which of these three does this next season of my life require. I'm going to tell you why this is important, meaning depending on spiritual intelligence here, because it is God who actually knows what's happening in the next season of your life. He knows the end from the beginning. He's a God of providence and because there's pro video, providence, pro video, video to see, pro before, because he can see before something happens He's able to order our steps and orchestrate the affairs of our life so that we're ready for what he sees in the future that we don't see in our present. So the spiritual intelligence is our ability to be sensitive to the traits that God might be highlighting that we need to lean into in this next season of our life. And there are a number of different ways that God can do that. It could be promptings. It could be you could look at the list and you, you sense promptings. Another a way is desires. Like God gives you, gives you and I desires of our heart. So he gives our heart desires. That doesn't mean he gives our heart everything that it wants. He gives our heart what to want. And some of us look at those traits and we're like, I want to be more decisive. I want to be more focused. I want to be more resilient. Sometimes God is at work through your wants. So sometimes discernment is which three do I want to become the most in this season? And God can be at work at that. Um, so there are a number of different ways, and I, I don't want to go down that rabbit trail, but discerning what needs to be developed is so key. You know, one of my, one of my I've got, I use a, the X which is acronym for Adoration, Confession, Thanksgiving, Supplication. I use that model for my prayer time. And one of the prayer targets in that model is for like education. So I pray over like vacation. Lord, show me when to rest. Listen, when you get better spiritually, everything get better. Spiritual life is not the only important part of your life. It is the most important part of your life because it affects every other part that's important but you don't get stronger spiritually accidentally. It takes intentionality. You need to get fed and you gotta learn how to understand, how to interpret, how to apply, and how to explain the Bible. The Bible's the blueprint to your best life. And I'm gonna tell you, Sunday's not enough to give you the tools that you need to get better with the Bible. I want you to join me in my community called Bible You, where I help you take your understanding your application and your explanation of the Bible to another level. And then education. Show me what I should be learning in this season. There's so much stuff I could learn. Like I just pick up the phone and you can just learn just about anything. But just because I can learn everything doesn't mean I should be learning everything. Remember, we want strategic learning. I want, the, I want to learn the things I need for the season I'm in and the season I'm going to. I know the season I'm in. I don't know the season that I'm headed. So I need some divine insight on how to prepare for what I can't see. So this is where spiritual intelligence becomes important. All right? Now, this is important. The second one, emotional intelligence. The first quadrant of emotional intelligence is self-awareness. The next quadrant is self-management. So I need self-awareness to see what I'm not. Like I need, <laughs> that's where emotional intelligence comes in, right? It allows me to see me. One of the things my mentor says a lot, he's like, hey, I'm, e I'm emotionally, my mentor says about himself, he said, I'm emotionally intelligent not because there's not something wrong with me emotionally. He says, I feel like I'm emotionally intelligent because I know what it is and I know how to manage it. <laughs> That's the first quadrant. And so 
It's really, really difficult if there is fragile self-esteem, if there is hypersensitivity, if there is hyper insecurity to acknowledge, it's really, to, not, not, not to acknowledge, but to get an objective view of what I am and what I'm not. Because if I'm, if I'm like hyper insecure, I probably will never see my strengths. If I'm hyper arrogant or arrogant at all, it makes it difficult for me to see my weaknesses. So, so let me say this, because definitely in a religious context where humility is a value, I think there are times where people assume that thinking low of yourself means thinking right of yourself, and that's not, just not true. Thinking right of yourself means thinking right of yourself. It doesn't mean thinking low of yourself. So we need emotional intelligence. Why, Darius? We need this because it allows us to be honest with us about what we are and what we're not. And it is only when you identify and I identify what we are and what we're not that we can actually identify what we need to be.